Oh my, oh shit, like... You know the stories they told you about the Tinkaton that beats the Corviknight? Well, look, here it is. Sometimes you just come across these pink teams and I am like, I am worried, but I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> Don't think Bullet Seed will eat me alive, though. It's a high possibility that could be the thing. So, Alexis, good luck, have fun, right? Ooh, pink teams. Mousehold, yeah, that was, that was always the lead, wasn't it? My opponent got jungle fever. I'm gonna run slush from here, just get the damage going. Shadow Claw, ooh! Well, everything I expect, that was not it. That was really not it. Slap bomb should hurt, yeah. I am. <laughs> Rygar, I need you. <laughs> like, I don't want to force them the debris on and then not be able to stop it, right? That's, that's not what I want. Tidy up, there we go. Hazards away. That's a really neat ability that I think about it, right? Let's see, should have bullet punch, or bullet seed, I mean. Hmm. Population bomb, ooh. No, 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 no. Just one time? Just one time? Isn't that supposed to do 10 hits? Huh. Well, well. Fine. I wanted that stamina boost for a freaking Aloma Mola. As of right now, Aloma Mola is an absolute threat for me. Yeah. Here she come again. It looks looking pretty small though, isn't it? I, thought, I, I got to feel Aloma Mola was titanic, like those sun sunfishes. Well, Gwenhart, you know what to do. Shilling water. Oh, yeah. Nope. I mean, it is a miner's attack. That's actually something that is quite annoying. But Wild Shard should ruin this little Mola. Pretty close, too. Pretty close. Oh, Rocky Helmet. And a lot of recall to me. Let's see. Fold it up with another shilling water. That's not good. That's not good at all. Schmaug! <laughs> I mean, I could try to kill it, but I'm pretty sure with two shielding waters behind me that that is unlikely to go down as I intend to. Get him, Smoke! <laughs> yeah, there is a wish. Like, I'm being completely honest here. There is only so many things I theoretically can do. Protect, that's fair enough. Alone is quite nasty. So shielding water. Wish protect. What else could it have? What else should it have? Knockoff, right? I do invite to Blissey, that's for sure. Or in worst case scenario, um I was gonna say Wingle, but I mean uh Wheel is off. Let's see that let, let's find out. Sylveon, oh yeah. So Muddy Water was always to play, why? Huh. Well, well, well. Huh. This guy could screen though. Yeah, I gotta do this. I need rocks, and I need to scare this guy off. I actually think Aloma Mola will be a really big problem if it's not dealt with properly. Ugh. That was a Moonblast indeed. Yeah, I prioritized my freaking rocks on this. Any chip is good chip. That has to be specs. No, it's not. It is just very dangerous. <laughs> Shit. 
Why is it so dangerous? Hmm. Right, taking a gamble here. I have some investment, it is whether or not it is enough. Ooh, I'm worried. This is a big risk for me. If I have speed, this Sylveon is absolutely out. Just as I withdraw, nice. Goes into Wigglitzer. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not right. That's not right. Wiggly! Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Thing is, I think I can deal with this Alomamula. Theoretically. Um, I still gotta do this though. This turns out to be... Um, very, very hard for me to actually stop properly. Shielding water, get my storm drain, buddy. And, uh, yeah, a nasty plot here anyway. If I can get myself to plus three, that would be really nice versus a freaking Blissey. Bring Sylvia on, great. Now I just need a muddy water to connect. Because I'm pretty sure. Muddy water shouldn't kill, but it should definitely do a lot. Leftovers, alright. So it's maybe not as chunky as I thought it was. Let's find out. <sighs> Thank god I actually connect this. Oh, boom, shakalak! <laughs> the both fairies are gone, which means I can spam my dragon pulse. And here comes the blissey. Now, do I want to find out how poorly this Dragon Pulse will do to Blissey? I think I can go full greed on this. I think I should go full greed on this. Because... Oh, it has Ice Beam. That's not right. That's not right at all. Right, how much will a plus 5 Dragon Pulse even do? Plus life orb. I mean, that has to be 33% at least, right? Oh! Hey! Hey, that's actually... Um, that's actually quite significant, if you ask me. That's that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that's a real a lot of damage. Never thought I'd see today. <laughs> So, here's the thing though, my opponent can switch into um, Tickaton and, um, well, take that risk, basically. Here comes the Tickaton. I was thinking Muddy Water, I really was, but why take the risk when I really don't need to? As of right now, I am in the zone. I'm not too worried. I do believe Tinkaton, if it is offensive, will outspeed and smoke me. Let's find out. Yeah. Smoke, no. <laughs> it's all good though. It is all good. Rumor has it that Tinkaton beats Covenites. Rumor has it that's a scenario. I am here to bet that's not a possibility and that the Pokedex entry is full of shit. I haven't nicknamed my Corviknight, I realize that now. What realization am I? I'm fighting. That's, that's not gonna happen. So, I've seen these guys terrestrialize themselves into Electrics, however. So that's a very real possibility. I, I, I'm silent because I'm actually trying to think what what do I do if a Mola Mola comes in like 
it can't burn me anyway, right? I can freely set up our defenses versus that. And without a sword stance behind it, I don't believe a Terra Blast electric should kill me either. This pink team actually... Oh, fuck me, I knew it. Did you though, Chris? Did you though? I'm not sure you did. Oh my god. Ugh. One should be enough, right? Oh my, oh shit, like... You know the stories they told you about the Tinkaton that beats the Corviknight? Well, look, here it is. The day has come, Chris. He keeps soul dancing. He keeps going at it. This is kind of... Um, kind of scary. Well, I'll, I'll guess we'll take the Terra Blast then. Jesus Christ. Corviknight, no! I heard the stories. I didn't believe them. No! <laughs> That's phenomenal. I love it. <laughs> Gaful, get, get him. <laughs> well, I'm kind of happy that... <laughs> Like, sh sure, I could have, um, I could have, um, what would you say, um, switch up my moves and become, um, a fighting type, I maybe would have survived a Terra Blast, but, really, really should have done it, I don't think so, I, I happily, <laughs> happily experienced that whole ch charade, um, because I think I'm in a somewhat fine spot anyway. Because Gwen Hart comes in, unless my opponent goes for, um, like, a paralyzation move, which he can't do, then I should be fine. Uh, I also believe a close combat stinks whoever wants to come in and tries to take this. Choice is bad at all. I'm, yeah, I'm not worried. I don't need to be. So with this up, Lissy, like I said, Aloha Mola is not going to enjoy any part of this. I have a hard time believing... It has the capability of taking two of these. Yeah, because it just bulky or not, it's not happening, bro. That's a lot of health damage, even onto me. I guess my opponent could protect. Yeah. He's not gonna save it, though. It, it really isn't. I'm just thinking, like, do I have a scenario here where I switch into my... I haven't terrorization yet anyway. But no, no, let's just go for it. There's only so much you can do, buddy! There's only so much you fucking can do! <laughs> Still though, that's freaking a lot. I'm really glad I didn't go for a wild charge. But yeah, if this wasn't working, I still had my... Um, War type uh, mud sail, which just been phenomenal. One of the best things I ever caught. But sometimes you just need a jammer, and he brings down the pain. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a buffed fighting type this is. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this game.